In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite top 5 awesome tools that you can use in 2024. Hello and welcome to this channel. My name is Sans from CyberSudo. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that this video gets suggested to people who are also interested in OSINT. So the first website that I would like to show you is called GeoSpy, which will allow you to identify an image location using AI. So you want to go to a website called GeoSpy.ai and then you want to upload a picture. In my case, I've already prepared an example of a picture of a demonstration that happened in Berlin, 1992. So I'm going to get the full URL of this picture and copy it and then go to GeoSpy and then click in here and then upload this picture. And now GeoSpy will analyze the background, the vegetations, the architecture and give us information about this picture and where it has been taken. So let's have a look. Here we can see that the city is Berlin. We can also read the explanation that there is a large crowd of people holding a banner and this is a famous quote from German constit constitution which is a strong indicator that this photo was taken in Germany so it has analyzed the background and the text that were written on this image to identify where this picture has been taken. The second awesome tool that I would like to show you will allow you to find information about an email address a phone number and a username so you might be able to find information like where this email address has been registered where it's been used what reviews this email address has made etc so this website is called OSINT Industries and in my opinion it's one of the best services that you can use to find information about a phone number or an email address so what I'm going to do is to select phone and then I'm gonna add the phone number and then check on this box and click on search and now you will able to find information about this specific phone number now let's have a look at the search results we can see that this phone number has been found in have i been pwned which is a website that will show you whether your information are leaked online or not and we can see that this phone number has been found on facebook or in facebook data leak i can scroll down more and have a look at the graph and see that this phone number is also associated with an email address that starts with R and ends with A. We can also see the name of the person that's associated with this phone number that has been found on True Call. Now let me scroll down more. Here we can see some profile pictures that we were able to get just by having the phone number, the information that are related to this person so we can see profile pictures we can see names and we can see a partial email address we can also see that this phone number is associated with an apple account the next website is a facial recognition website that will allow you to analyze profile pictures and see where they have been uploaded or used on the internet so you want to go to a website called pim eyes and then you want to upload a picture so in my case, I'm going to search for my face. So right mouse click, and then I'm going to save this image on my desktop and then go to PIM eyes and upload this picture. And then I'm going to confirm that I am over 18 years old and accept the terms and then click on start search. And as you can see, PIM eyes showed me where my profile picture or where my face has appeared on the internet. So we can see that this is my face and it has appeared on zsecurity.org. We can see another face that has also appeared on another website that starts with video.fo. And then we can scroll down and see where this picture has also appeared. So this is a very useful service. If you would like to view the full URL, then you need to have a subscription. The next website is a tool that will allow you to search for a specific username across hundreds of social media networks so let's say that you are searching for yourself or for your friend and you want to find what other accounts they have so you can copy their instagram username facebook username etc and then use the tool that i'm going to show you to find where this username has appeared on the internet 
So you want to go to a website called what's my name web and then you are going to add the usernames that this person uses on their social media networks. In my case I'm going to search for cyber underscore sudo because I have used this username across multiple websites. So I'm going to add the username. I can add more username if I want to but I'm not going to do this for now. Let's see what's going to happen if I clicked on search. So first of all I need to solve the captcha. And now it's going to start searching for this username. So as you can see, here are the accounts or websites that use the exact same username. So we can see that this username is available on Instagram and on Steam, TikTok, TryHackMe and Internet Archive. So let me open this URL so we can see that I have an account on TikTok. And here we can see that we have a person called cyber antisec which is not my account and here is my instagram account if you would like to follow me it also uses cyber underscore sudo and here we can see that there is a username called cyber sudo on try hack me now let's say that you have received an email that contains a url and you are not sure whether this url is saved or not so what you can do instead of going to this website you can go to a website like urlscan.io which will scan this URL for you and give you a screenshot of this website. This will help you to identify what technologies are used on this website, the content of the website, what URLs this website contains and much more. So this will help you a lot to protect your online identity and protect your devices from being hacked. As an OSINT investigator, sometimes you are required to visit some malicious websites to get information about members, posts, etc. Now let's say that you are trying to gather information about a URL which is cybersudo.org. So you can add cybersudo.org or the URL that you would like to check. In my case, I'm going to select private scan because if you have selected public scan, then this scan is going to be visible to all users. So in my case, I'm going to say private scan, add the URL and then click on private scan. And now the scan is done. We can see a screenshot of the website and we can also scroll down and see the IP addresses that this website has. We can go to IP detail to get more information about this IP addresses. So we can see that we have re redirect from Cloudflare. We can go, for example, to domains and see the domains that are in this website. And in this case, we have cyberstudio.org. We can see a Google API. These are all URLs that are embedded in this website. We can also see type dream, which is how I created my website, Cloudflare, Mailjet, which is the email service. We can also go to HTTP and see any redirects from or to this website. So here are some JavaScripts that will automatically run once you visit a website. So let me go to redirect for example. Here we can see nothing. We can go to indicators and see some information. So here we can see some IP addresses and some domain names. We can also go to content and see the text that is in this website. So we can copy it or search for it etc. So these are my favorite awesome tools in 2024. If you like these tools and you have tried them, don't forget to leave a comment and your experience and how good these websites are. And if you like the video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you soon.